the mystical revelation of Rastafari, Rastafari. And I saw a great white throne, and him that sat upon it, from whose face the heaven and the earth fled away. From Revelation chapter 20. The mighty prophet, Marcus Mosiah Garvey, said, Look to Africa, where a black man will be crowned king. He is our saviour. On September the 7th, 1928, Rastafari announced that he would be crowned king on October the 7th, in a month's time. At the end of September, in September 1928, after hearing that Rastafari will be crowned king, fulfilling Marcus Mosiah Garvey's prophecy for racial equality, the Christians of North America, of America and Canada, wanting to maintain their position of power, you know, their institutional racism, purchased the copyright of the Bible. Get it purchased the copyright of the Bible. So it became theirs, in their words, the word of God they bought for themselves to maintain their power. Rastafari was crowned king on the 7th of October 1928 and then he was crowned emperor a couple of years later at which all the nations of the earth were represented all the kings of the earth including our own so-called royal family and Rastafari his imperial majesty Haile Selassie joined the League of Nations with the Americans and the British and the other nations in the League of Nations but then he was attacked by the Italians by Rome itself and Rastafari went to the League of Nations and received no help from them at all. They abandoned him. He said, what shall I tell my people? Beloved Rastafari on the 5th of May in 1936 he came to England sold a tea set and bought a house in Bath and the government told the local people not to have anything to do with him not to acknowledge that he was the emperor of Abyssinia but Rastafari received the love of the people he received the love of the people in Bath overwhelming love for him in his need In December of 1936, this led to the abdication of Edward VIII, who could not tolerate, who would not bow to the government's treatment of his imperial majesty. As head of the royal family, of all the royal families, King of Kings. So they forced Edward's abdication, you know, citing, you know, uh, Wallace Simpson as the excuse. And then they instituted the false monarchy. So they, had, they knew that Rastafari was the king, Earth's rightful ruler, the Christos the Christ come again he is the Christos but they put forward Jesus so Jesus became and is Jesus is the Antichrist anti the Christos of Rastafari the King of Kings 
And so in 1952, the Christians issued the RSV, the Revised Standard Version of the Bible, with the accession of the Queen, Queen Elizabeth II, the head of Babylon, the figurehead of Babylon, the mother of harlots, all her children have played the harlot. And now they try to force on us the Queen and Jesus as being British. Rastafari There's an old Chinese story that the emperor used to visit a wise man in the mountains for advice. Every time the emperor got a problem, I just wanted to discuss things. He went to see his guru in the mountains and one day he said to his guru, look, you, you should be emperor in my place, take my crown, because you were wise than me to rule the, rule the empire. Then the, the guru waited for the emperor to leave and went down to the river and was washing his ears, washing his ears out. And there was a boy with his herd of cattle washing them in the river. And he went up and said, Master, why are you washing your ears? And the master said, the emperor has just oh, said that I should have his crown. And I am washing the filth out of my ears. At this, the boy drove his bullocks out of the river for fear that they should be contaminated. Rastafari, he stands alone, and no one can stand near him. He fights without end, and he spares not, for he conquers with love, with love. He conquers with love. Some of the Idrin went to Ethiopia, and they saw the sarcophagus where they had the bones of his imperial majesty and there was a priest there guarding the bones and on this channel 4 documentary they asked him about the Rasta's belief that Haile Selassie was God and the priest said the Rastafari Hydran are wrong Rastafari is a man Rastafari is a man, Rastafari is a man, one who is my brother.